Hey, welcome to the Jetty Jet Show. Are you guys having trouble getting started? Did you just recently discover that you love drawing, but you're having problems with fundamentals and drawing, and you have just a lack of knowledge for Photoshop? Well, this is the video for you. I feel that if you're just starting off, it's important that you watch this video or any video covering basic drawing principles um, before you move on to videos like character design or figure drawing. Um, so if you're using paper, it's okay. You can follow along. Just draw what you see. But if you're using Photoshop on a Mac, just go to File and open a new document. Normally, you'll get US, US paper. And it'll say 8.5, 11, 300, which is good. But let me show you the problems with that. So if you want to use US size paper at 300 pixels per square inch, you find that your lines will begin to look really sloppy, um, really wiggly and, and, and hairy. And, um, and it doesn't have that natural drawing feeling like you're drawing on paper. You get all these kind of like nuances like this, this, this little wit wobble here and this little wobble here because it's, it's eating so much memory, trying to produce so many pixels that are so unnecessary. To draw your entire sketch, you only need probably this many pixels. Maybe more, maybe this many. So what I'm trying to say is you don't want to eat your memory as you do sketches and you're doing your rough draft. You want to work quick and efficiently. Okay? So how do we fix that problem? You know, people are like, well, I can't do Wacom. You know, a lot of people have that problem. Because of this problem, it's, it's very sensitive. It's super sensitive. This is what causes people to want to give up and say, oh, I just can't learn Wacom. It's too difficult. So what you do is you gotta lower down your resolutions. Go to the uh, the new again. Set your resolution to around 150 or lower. That's pretty good. And I like to work on landscape, meaning a horizontal canvas. So I'll make the width 11 and the height 8.5. Pretty basic. Look at that. It feels a lot more smooth, a lot more natural because it's not eating so much space especially if you're doing something with big ol um, blocky stuff like that okay don't worry about all the fancy brushes and the smoothing edges and and all these crazy stuff you can draw on toilet paper and it would make a difference it's how you draw not what you're drawing with or on you feel me anyways so we got that out of the way. What brushes to use? What brushes to use? There are two brushes, two main brushes I like to use. This is a uh, CS3. Um, so this is my default brush settings here. What you're mostly concerned with is this area here. These hard round brushes, and this guy. All right. That is the brush I mainly use for sketching, painting, everything, for blending, softening. Why? Because it gives me the best results for a kind of smear radiation right here, see? It feels more natural anyway. And it's okay to have all those um, spaces for, for the um, thingy things, for the, uh, the brush. What matters is you get something down, a line down. All right, we're going to cover some basic drawing principles of line and light and shading, okay, and value. So first thing you do is go down here, click on that, new layer, right? This here is your new layer. This is to turn it on and off. Okay, so you have two layers. And you want to draw on this one so that you have kind of a transfer, transparent background and you can move it around with having, without having any kind of white stuff get in the way uh, it'll make sense later but anyways to draw a circle like this draw a circle I'm using Wacom in Tools 4 just like that Okay. If it's ugly, it's okay. You can do a do a couple more. If it's not perfect, you know, you can do that. You can finish off the edges. Whatever works, okay? I like that circle better actually. 
I like that circle better. Okay, we're gonna circle that. Delete. That was the lasso tool. This is a useful tool. It's called the lasso tool. Press L to get your lasso tool. Instead of using your eraser to erase things, circle it with the lasso tool and press delete and it'll make things a lot faster. And you also move it around, circling it with the lasso tool, pressing V for move and move it. Ta da. See? Some just some quick hot hot key tips to speed up your workflow. Okay? Okay, so this is the line. Okay, that's the line. Again, create a layer. Number two is fill it in. Fill it in, all right? Now we want to fill it in, but we want to retain that line. Okay? So, oh, by the way, brush tool, brush, you know, brush. Okay, anyways, to change the, the uh, values of your value or color of your paint, go to this box down here, click that, move the slider up, and it goes lighter. Ta-da. Fill it in. Good. Now, uh, what's most important for more comic style drawings or any kind of rendering, in my opinion, is keeping your line layer on top. This is the beauty of layers. It's like having like millions of tracing papers at your disposal makes everything so much fun and easy to do. So keep your stuff, your line layer on top. Okay, we'll call it local value. Local value, is that right? Value, yeah. This is the value, the meaning that's the darkness, the shade of the, the subject. Okay, it's how dark it is without any Influenced by light or shadow. That makes sense. What is the shade of that object? If it, if you were to hold it, for example, a tire, right? Car tire is black. It's really dark, and you compare it with a gray T-shirt. Okay, a gray T-shirt. You hold it up against each other. The value of the tire is a lot darker than your gray T-shirt. So the local value, how dark it is. Next step create a new layer but just just so that we can switch it on and off create a new layer on top of that layer so now your your value layer is underneath I'm gonna render this thing okay what I'm gonna do is use the selection tool instead of going to your box and sliding this around and getting something darker we already have a darker color on your canvas zoom in by holding on to command Command or butterfly looking thing, spacebar. And I'm using Mac, by the way, so this applies to Mac users. Command spacebar, much faster. Option spacebar, you can zoom out. Spacebar, move. You gotta click this thing here, alright, and figure out which one um, your move will work on. This one will not work for move, to move your um, drawing around, your entire drawing. The uh, full screen mode with menu bar, full screen mode and standard screen mode, all allow you to to move, to move the actual canvas. So that's very helpful. Actually, actually, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Totally wrong. Just these.